Hello everyone, Scott Stone Bell coming back from Sacramento, California, April 17, 2016, 222 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales training. And we're talking about the questions that you should be asking in the sales process that either you're scared to or nobody's ever told you. So one of the questions that I'm going to let you know really helps you out is why would you do this, right? And then follow up with why would you not? So it's really two questions, but you're getting a two for it's a two for one, right? You watch the video and you're like thinking I'm going to get one question. Nope, you got two. So why would you do this? And so sometimes you're gonna meet with a buyer and they're very reluctant to tell you and you just have to be very patient. Because here's the thing, if you go through a sales process and you ask questions and you let that buyer kind of like push you around and not answer the questions that you need to have answered, then one of the things that's gonna happen is you're gonna get to the end and they're gonna be like, it doesn't really matter. They're gonna give you some weak sauce type of clothes and it's just gonna be a problem for you. So sometimes a buyer's gonna give you a vague answer and sometimes you just have to wrap around and back to come back to it a little bit later it's gonna be okay. Now, remember that sometimes when you ask a difficult question to the buyer, there is all sorts of nervous energy. So they're like, mm, squirrel, right? Mm, car, mm, building, because they wanna change the subject because they're uncomfortable with what's going on. And you need to know that that's common and everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Ask the tough question. You know, why would you not do this? And they may give you like, oh, it's gonna cost too much. And it may be done to psych you out to like, like if I think, oh, it costs too much. Everybody says it's gonna cost too much. Um, it's not gonna fit in the budget. Oh my goodness, we're back to money. Um, the, the person may not approve and you're like, ooh, I'm not with the decision maker, right? You should be like, jump up on your chair and be like, gotcha, right? But don't do that, don't do that. It would be fun to do, no reason to do it. But sometimes you're gonna un, 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 unreveal, you're gonna reveal information that you would have never gotten before. So why would you do this? Or why would you not do this? And if you don't get some reasons, you're probably not talking to the right person. And if they introduce like, oh, I need to talk to my boss about this, you know that this is just question mode and you need to reset the appointment and somehow get back to the person who can say yes to you, okay? So why would you do this? Why would you not do it? It's going to reveal a bunch of information. It could tell you the budget. It could tell you, you know, what's going on at the office. It could tell you that you're not meeting with a decision maker, right? That's always my favorite thing. You're talking with somebody and you're asking them the tough questions and you find out you are not with the right person. To me, that's fantastic because now I've uncovered information that I can work with. And instead of saying, I'm going to go take this to my boss, now I'm flipping around like, hey, you know what? Here's the thing. We need to bring that guy or that girl or that committee on board so that we can talk to them now. Oh, I can't do that. My job is to gather information. Yeah, no, I'm not playing your game, buddy. Okay? Or chick, whatever way you want to go. Buddy, chick, yeah, could be either one of them. So ask the question, why would you do this? Why would you not do this? And you're like, but Scott, what if they give me an answer I don't like? What if they give you an answer that you're like, now I know what I need to do to overcome their objection and how I can really help them out? You know, I don't worry about like the what ifs of like it's going to blow up a deal like on a Wednesday, on a fall, a full moon when I stub my toe. I worry about the stuff that's going to happen consistently. You know, there's no reason to ask all these weak questions like what if it blows up the deal? Well, what if? So what? So what if it blows up the deal? There's another one out there. Oh no, there's so many out there. Stop being a crying little baby. You're going to be okay. All right. Now here's what you need to know. Ask the question, get the answer. If they give you something vague, you've got two options. You can loop around, come back to it later, or stand your ground and be like, hey, we really need to get this dealt with right now. Either way, it's gonna come down to personality, but if you're gonna get pushed around in the question process, you're gonna get pushed around in the other process, you're gonna get pushed around in the other process, and they're gonna give you some weak answer, like why they can't buy today, like I gotta think about it. Just know that that's gonna happen, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, it's like right here. <laughs> leave a comment, question, or story. That would be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do. Psh, you gotta subscribe. I'll give you all the sound effects today. And then you can send it out to via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.